The green anaconda is a colossal serpent, a large semi-aquatic species of boa from South America. They inhabit the rainforests near many rivers and wetlands across the northern half of the continent. They are in fact the heaviest of all snakes, and the second longest after the reticulated python of Southeast Asia. As a boa, they are a constricting snake, swallowing their prey of various sizes whole and squeezing the life out of them. This species is largely green in coloration, with darker green to black spots running down its back, and yellower spots running down near the belly. Another signature pattern on green anacondas is the orange and black stripes that run from the eyes to the back of the head. On average, green anacondas will reach 3 meters in males and 5 to 6 in females. Being the heaviest snake in the world, there have been certainly some heavy weights. The largest ever individuals have reached 8 to even 10 meters in length. These great snakes would have been absolute titans, but the green anaconda may be a giant today. But in prehistory, the larger snakes got even longer. A species of Paleocene South American snake about 60 million years ago was Titanoboa, a colossal snake that got to 12 meters, and it wasn't the only one. A late Cretaceous species from Madagascar, Matsoya, would have reached up to 10 meters, and Gigantophus of the Eocene of Northern Africa would have reached a similar length. They are widely distributed snakes, being found from the east of the Andes and across to Brazil, primarily living in the Amazon and Orinoco basins. They live in swamps, marshes, rivers and streams, lakes and even lagoons, where they will feed upon almost any animal that lives in the river. They will also inhabit tropical rainforests and flooded savannas where use of the vegetative cover assists in their camouflage. They are capable of hiding almost entirely from their prey site. As apex predators, they feed on a whole variety of prey, including all the species of caiman, as well as fish, deer, capybara, tapirs, primates, peccaries, water birds, many different reptiles, and will even take on jaguars if a suitable size. Risking hunting particularly large prey is dangerous for any predator, so if the strike is not on point, the snake could risk serious injury from the kicks of tapirs, the claws of jaguars, and the jaws of crocodilians and may even potentially face death. As a boa, the green anaconda will use constriction to kill its prey. The act of coiling around their prey and suffocating them until the prey is dead. Once they strike, they wrap around their prey, and each time that the prey breathes, the snake will squeeze a little bit tighter. Snakes and other reptiles cannot chew, so they must swallow their meal whole. Their jaw bones are loosely connected, so they spread them out to engulf their prey in their jaws. Snakes, when they swallow, will put their windpipe to the side to allow them to breathe while swallowing their prey. This is located just behind their tongue. The anaconda is mostly nocturnal and spends a lot of time in water. To assist in this semi-aquatic lifestyle, the eyes and nostrils have evolved to be positioned on the top of the head as they would be in other aquatic reptiles such as crocodilians. They'll poke these out at the surface to allow them to breathe and see their prey, while having the rest of the, bro the body submerged. The slender build allows them to swim quite quickly and to weave between all the underwater obstacles such as aquatic plants, submerged trees and rocks, allowing them to have a variety of ambush and opportunities for a lot of their prey, both of which spend a lot of time in water, making the green anaconda a specialist semi-aquatic hunter. Individuals are solitary until the mating season, which occurs during the wetter part of the year. Females will leave pheromone trails for males to follow. This will create a breeding ball of many males that come far and wide to mate with the female, and all these males will wrestle their rivals away to be the one successfully to breed with the female. The gestation period is between six to seven months, when the female, unusually for reptiles, will give birth to live young, with a litter consisting of up to 40 individuals, though cases of larger birth numbers have been recorded. The young are then left to fend for themselves, and then fully mature will become a titan like their parents. Like the Komodo dragon previously, the green anaconda has also been one to demonstrate parthenogenesis, females reproducing on their own without the help of a male. Though they are the largest snake on the continent, they are still preyed upon many of the riverine predators in their habitat. Animals like the pack-hunting giant river otter use their numbers and ferocity to overpower these great snakes, but others like jaguars and crocodilians, as well as waterbirds, would also prey on smaller and younger individuals. But like all rainforest animals, the threat of habitat loss and the deforestation of their rainforest, the pollution and drainage of wetlands and rivers will cause prey stocks to plummet, 
and so too the number of healthy anacondas. The largest snake in the world and a true titan of the Amazon basin, the green anaconda is a phenomenal species that is perfectly adapted to a semi-aquatic lifestyle and being a successful serpentine hunter. If you love green anacondas and would like to see more, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.